Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Please excuse my voice because allergy season is upon us and I've had a sore throat for the past few days but I really wanted to film this look for you guys. This was the look that I had on in my Kylie Cosmetics and Kim Kardashian West collaboration review and swatch video and I got so many requests from you guys to recreate the look so I wanted to do that as soon as possible. I originally wanted to do a talk through but unfortunately my voice is not gonna let me do a talk through. Thank you all so much for the positive feedback and all of the love for my Kylie and Kim collaboration review and swatch video. I'm so happy that you guys love it as much as I do. I really love this look. I think that it's so simple. It's perfect for any occasion. The only thing that I switched up was the products that I used for my face, but for my eyes, I did use the same palette and I used the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. I actually really love this palette. I take this one and the bronze palette with me whenever I travel because I feel like the colors are just perfect. The bronze one comes with a black as well and it comes with like a matte white. So I love taking both of these when I travel. I really love the pink tones of the Burgundy Palette and I really love the orange tones of the bronze palette. All of the things that I own from Kylie Cosmetics, I did purchase myself. So now I want to talk a little bit again about the Kylie and Kim collaboration. I honestly believe that it was designed to wear with a lip liner. If you look at all of their promo pictures, the lip colors look different on them. So I did go ahead and swatch them all again today, but this time I used a lip liner just to show you guys how it looks like with a lip liner. So if you recreate this look, I would love to see. I think this look is perfect for any occasion. I think it's perfect for prom. If you still want to do something glam, but like a little subtle, I think that this look is perfect. As long as the eyeshadow doesn't come out further than the lashes. Alright you guys, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with the Smashbox Lit Primer in the shade Light and I always make sure to set it with my face powder. So the first color that I'm going to take from the palette is the shade Beach and this is a matte finish light warm brown. I'm just applying that to the outer half of my lid and I'm blending it in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is the Morphe E27. The next color I'm going to take is Penny and it is a matte finish red orange. I'm using the Dose of Colors blending brush because it's a little bit smaller and it's not as fluffy so I can really focus the color. Now I'm taking the color Naked which is a satin finish golden sand on a Dose of Colors concealer brush and I'm applying that to the inner half of my lid. I also sprayed a little bit of the Smashbox primer water onto my brush to make the color a little bit more intense. Now with whatever was left on the blending brush, I'm just blending the colors together. Now with the shade Burgundy, I'm going to use the Dose of Colors blending brush again and really focus that color just on the outer corner of my eyes. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just slightly bringing it over. Now for my winged liner, I'm going to use my favorite Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and E06 brush. And this brush is very crucial if you want to create a really nice fine line. Now you also want to make sure that you're keeping your wing really thin and fine as well. Now I'm going to take the color brick on a tiny pencil brush and I'm smudging that along the outer end of the wing. And then with a fluffy detail brush, blend it all together. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps with the color almond but I'm making sure to stay very very close to the wing eyeliner. Now I'm just kind of blending all of the colors together making sure that there is no harsh line. Now taking a flat definer brush and some of my face powder, I'm going to clean that up. I'm also taking more of the Wicked Gel Liner and tight lining my eyes. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my favorite Sigma Sinuosity Mascara. And I'm also going to apply some falsies and the ones I'm using today is the Superficial Cake Face Lashes. Now to make sure that my real lashes stick to my fake lashes, I'm going to use this half lash curler that I got in New York City from Ricky's. Now going back in with the color Penny, I'm going to take a flat brush and apply that on my lower lash line and then slightly blend it out with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Now slightly tapping into the color Brick, I'm going to pretty much repeat the same steps. Now I'm going to apply the Pure Cosmetics Triple Threat Mascara to my non-existent bottom lashes. To brighten up my eyes, I'm going to use a nude liner and I'm using the Pixi Eye Bright Liner. To add some warmth and color back into my face, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetic Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer on a fluffy tulip brush. Love, 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 
For just a little bit more definition, I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer on a small angled contour brush. Now for my nose, I'm going to use the JD Weighty and Luxie Nose Perfector Brush and Benefit Hula Bronzer. This has been my favorite blush lately and it's the new Benefit California blush and I'm using it on a large angled contour brush. Now for my highlight, I'm going to use the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in the shade Pearl and I'm taking the middle color first on this smaller highlighter brush so that I can really focus the color. Now I'm going to take the lightest color on the Sigma Strobing Fan and apply that right on my cheekbones and around my eyebrow to create a really beautiful glow. So I'm starting off by lining my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in the color Oak and then the first color I'm applying is the shade Kimberly by Kylie and Kim.